The wind. We've been using energy from the wind for millennia, for work and for pleasure. They've been using the wind to drive sailing vessels for ages, windmills, up to today's modern wind farms, and for toys for both young and old alike. Enough for romance about the wind, let's get down to business. Hi, it's Lee here. Today I'm with Ross and Claire here outside the Creative Energy Solutions Workshop. And today we've got a mild Chinook wind blowing, about uh, 30 to 40 kilometers per hour, with gusts uh, maybe 10 kilometers higher than that. We have one of the augers from the ocean current test we had in Vancouver mounted on two stands with uh, just simple bearings at each end. This is a 24 inch diameter auger and it's about 20 feet long and it weighs about 800 pounds. And as you can see, the wind is spinning it at about 120 revolutions per minute with no load on the shaft. Today we've got the auger situated approximately 30 degrees to the direction of the wind. And we're right beside the shop here, so we're probably not the most ideal place. But as you can see, the auger's spinning like crazy. It's actually quite hypnotic to watch this auger spin. It's going to be interesting to build a couple of 5-foot diameter screws for the two 5-kilowatt generators we have and mount it on a pole in the yard and generate some real power. These larger and lighter screws should be a lot more efficient in capturing the wind's energy. There sure have been a lot of ideas for wind generators over time. Lots of ideas on how, how to best harvest the wind. From the old Dutch windmills to the common three-braided props today, to multi-bladed props, to vertical wind turbines, to rotating, even to rotating building towers and air rotors. But because the vehicle shape of an auger is a very simple and direct way of transferring the wind's energy into rotational motion, it should be a very economical way to capture the wind's energy and should be especially effective in medium to high wind situations. This unit you are watching just goes to prove the concept of how easily an auger can capture the energy of the wind. <laughs>